Hey there, this is Dracking25 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build an extremely fast 3x3 piston door that only uses the blocks in my hotbar right now. Now how the piston door works is when you cause a block update to this observer block right over here, the door it closes extremely fast. And the same thing for when it opens, just like that. Now, the piston door only uses repeaters, redstone dust, redstone blocks, and sticky pistons, and then one observer block, so it's really easy to build. So let's get started at building it. To start off your door, what you want to do is place a block down just like that, and then two sticky pistons placing vertically like this, and then a block on top of those there. Now this is going to be the floor for your door. Next, you just want to place a couple blocks to the side just like this, then out this way, three blocks, and then break this middle block there, and have a sticky piston facing this way, and then break that block right there. Next, to the top piston right here, what you want to do is place a redstone block just like that, then a couple more blocks out like this, two to be exact, and then a sticky piston facing right over here into that redstone block. Now the last thing to do right now is just place the observer facing to this block right here. So again, you just have to go a couple blocks just like this, break the middle block, and then place the observer block facing this way. Next, you just want to come to this side of your sticky pistons right there, and then place two blocks like that, another block down over there with redstone dust on it there, another block over here, and another block there with redstone dust on this block there, and a repeater set to two ticks on this block. And then in front of this repeater, you just want to place a block just like that. Then on top of it, more redstone dust, and a block next to the sticky piston just right here. Next, we're going to come to the back of the door right over here, and next to this redstone dust, place a block there, and have a repeater coming out of that block, set to two ticks. Then in front of that repeater, you want to place a block there, and under it, another block with redstone dust on that block. Then in front of that, a repeater set to the normal one tick setting. Next, you want to place three blocks just like this, and then on these two blocks, place redstone dust, and then have a repeater right here, set to two ticks, going to that sticky piston right there. After that, you want to place a block up like that, a block over there, and then just have half slabs going around just like this, three to be exact, and then place two pieces of redstone dust right there, and then have two repeaters right over here like that, with the first one set to four ticks. Now you just have to place a half slab right over here, just like that, break the half slab there, and have redstone dust going up into that block right over there. Now we can give it a quick test to make sure everything works. So if we break this block right here, you should see that those two blocks go up, and if we put another block back, you should get the full attraction of the piston and blocks. The last step is just filling out your door with the rest of the sticky pistons. So you want to come to this repeater right over here, place a piston down like that, and then have three pistons facing vertically just like that. And the bottom one we can break because we don't need that one. And the same thing over here on this block, another piston facing down like that, and three going up like that, and then the bottom one we can break. And then you want to come to the middle right over here and place six blocks going vertically just like this. And then break this block right over here and have a sticky piston facing downward. Now these blocks here we can just break for now. Now just to fill out the door blocks, so have blocks in front of them, blocks in front of them, and blocks over there. And to wire these pistons, what you want to do is get out an observer block, and then where this redstone dust is, place an observer block facing upwards like that, making sure that the face is looking at the redstone dust. And over here, you want to place a block on top of that observer, and then redstone just like that, and you just want to just pillar up with the redstone current. So you just want to place blocks up like that, block over there, we bring that block there, and it's redstone dust like this, and then continue the current along over here, blocks over there, more blocks over here, just to fill out the rest of the door, blocks like that, and a couple more over here. And then continue the redstone current all the way into those pistons there. What you can do is you can go directly into that piston there, or you can just take the current with a block right over here, and then redirect it just like that. Continue this right over there. And to power down over here, you want to do the same thing you did on that side. Place a block right there, and then just go down just like this. Break that block, break that block, and then right over there, and then fill it out with redstone dust. Now one final test for the door, if we break this block right over here, let's see that everything closes, and if I place a block right over there, everything gets retracted. Now you can decorate how you want, you can just fill out the rest of the blocks because all the redstone is hidden, but this is your 3x3 door all done and dusted. But that is all I got time for this video, if you enjoyed it you can let me know by leaving a like down below, but anyways I'll see you guys in the next video.